equilibrium now look at this picture q is the quantity and p is the price i will draw the graph of demand curve the demand curve graph goes like this which has a negative slope which is inverse proportion and the supply set this is the demand set d and this is the supply set S, which is a increasing function. Okay, now these two functions you see are intersecting at a point, and that point I'm going to call as what? That point I'm going to call as E. Okay, so let D and S D be the demand set. and s be the supply set they intersect or they meet each other at point e as shown in the figure okay now look at this particular line segment all of you i'm just drawing it with a different color let me take this color. Suppose I'm here. So it cuts this this horizontal line I'm drawing. Okay. So this price I'm going to call. Suppose I call this price is P naught. Okay, and look at this price. I'm going to call this price say P1. Okay, these are the two cases that we are going to discuss. What will happen if the price is P0 and what will happen if the price is P1? Okay, if the price the price is p naught p equal to p naught then what do you observe let me write this as the first observation what do you observe when the price is p naught this point on the graph the first point that you have here that is a demand okay at price p naught this is the demand which is less see q is this right the quantity is less correct and what is this at the price p naught this is the supply which is this so when i observe that at price p naught the demand is less and the supply is more do you understand what i'm talking at price p not what is happening demand set tells us that demand for this price is less and demand and supply at that price is what more for example if i have a product and suppose that product has price seven thousand what is this graph telling us for seven thousand rupees the demand of that product in the market is very less very less people want to buy that per thing but supply of that thing is more but the supplier is giving is supplying many items of that cost of that item at what price at 7000 price what does this mean what will happen what is the situation telling us this situation in economics is called as surplus then i'm writing it in the note if the price is p equal to p naught then demand is less but 
supply is more. What will happen if an article has very less demand, but in the market, there is a huge supply of that article. What will happen? There will be surplus. This situation is called surplus. It is not needed. It's becoming extra in the market. Now look at the second point. If the price is P equal to P1, if the price is P equal to P1, what is happening at P equal to P1? Let me go up, on, up in the graph. In at when the price of that commodity, suppose the price of the commodity is only 500 rupees. Okay, price of some article is only 500 rupees. What is happening? Supply is less. This is the supply curve. Supply is very less. But the demand of that article is now very, very more, very high. Something which is very cheap here at 500 rupees, if you're going to get something which is a good item. What is happening? But market has no that much amount of articles which people really want. Demand is very high, but the supply from the supplier is very low. What is this situation? called in economics means if the supply is low and the demand is high that situation in the market is called shortage then demand is high but supply is less this is called the situation is called shortage okay so if you try to look at the market what is happening if the price increases there is a surplus if the price decreases there is a shortage and in both the situations, the market is unstable. Market is what? Market is not stable. Either there is surplus in the market or there is shortage in the market. Something is happening. What is an ideal situation for a market? Ideal situation for a market is that if there is a supply of 100 quantities, there should be demand of 100 quantities right so the most ideal situation for a market is that there should be no surplus there should be no shortage if you look in the above picture what is happening here i'm, ex I'm making the graph big so here this is the surplus correct as as the price falls down you see the surplus line is getting smaller and smaller. As the price falls down, the surplus is becoming smaller and smaller. What happens as the price increases? The shortage factor is also becoming smaller and smaller. So which is the ideal position? for a market this e is the most ideal position for the market because at point e there is neither shortage nor surplus which is nothing but in mathematics it is called intersection of these two curves which is e that point e is called as the equilibrium state means the market will become stable whatever that intersection point is that intersection point we are going to call q star p star means this is q star on the x-axis 
and the y axis and the p axis this will be called as p star okay so this picture tells us that if this is the demand set and this is the supply set Q star P star is the intersection of the demand set and the supply set and therefore the surplus and shortage will not be there in the market. This is the most ideal situation where whatever quantity Q star is supplied in the market. If this is Q star, if suppose Q star is 100 and price is suppose at that point the, the price is 3000. This means that if you sell the product at 3000 rupees and the number of quantities are 100 then that demand and uh, the surplus and shortage won't be there so whatever product is entering into the market will be completely sold out in the market so this is the question of economics that what price should you take for the commodity so that there will be equilibrium in the market so that price people are not able to determine right right if you increase the prices you know it is going to be a surplus if you decrease the prices you know there is going to be the shortage in the market so to smartly decide which price should be assigned to the product so that demand and supply will perfectly match each other that point is called as the equilibrium point ideally uh, i mean ideally demand and supply won't really exactly match in a market realistic market in market you will always find that either there is shortage of something or something is going surplus but mathematics tells us that there is one point at which if you make the prices of the commodity at that point at that point demand and supply will exactly cancel each other and there will be neither surplus neither shortage in the market that point is called as what that point is called as the equilibrium point and that price at which you are selling will be called as the equilibrium price so let me write it down so the intersection of d and s demand set and supply set is the point e q star p star the equilibrium point means neither shortage nor surplus is seen in the market that is supplied quantity is completely sold In the market I means supply I means supply and this is demand they exactly match each other 